Hello guys, welcome to another episode of Essex Foraging and Fishing. Tonight, I'm in Albra, Suffolk. Or if it's spelled Aldebar. Everyone calls it Albra. Um, I've come to a very... I've come to a mark that's pretty similar to Chesil. Um, just nowhere near as deep. I think the surroundings are similar, Shingle Beach, big drop. I'm here for one thing tonight and I'm here for a cod. I made my own rigs today. Um, for the first time. Don't usually make rigs. I either have them made for me or I go to the shop and buy them. I'm too lazy, I'm too busy to do that. But you know what? Today, I felt like making my own rigs. So what we're going to do, um, I'm gonna, I've made a pulley rig and an up and over rig. So I'm going to get one of each out. Um, I'm going to put some squid and lug on one and some crab and lug on the other. I will show you the bait shortly. But this place does produce cod, it hasn't yet. There is a hell of a lot of whiting, dogfish and rays all around our coastlines. This is the first time I've fished here, so we'll see how it goes. Right guys and girls, you see that there. I'm going to get the light on it properly. Focus. Crab and lugworm. Peter crab and lugworm. Six ounce weight. Up and over rig. I've come here for a cod. And I'm going to get one. So let's see how that goes, shall we? Fingers crossed. Hopefully they're out there today. So guys. Two and a half minutes. Dogfish. Dogfish. That's not bad. You know, my first pulley panel rig I've made. Two and a half minutes. Saves a blank. Let's hope this is the start of a good session. Let's we'll see. Right, okay, bait. Quite simple. You got your common lug. Got loads there. I was expecting my brother to come with me tonight. But I've got way too much for what I need. So that means um, I can go on more fishing trips. Makes sense really. Baiting elastic scissors, we've got some squid here. Got a few more bags of squid in there as well. And in here, ah, sorry about the camera work and the lighting, some peelers. Get the light on them properly, shall we? There we go. Peeler crabs. Hoping that'll be the dynamite bait today, but who knows? Common log. Wish I had some yellows or blacks as well, but I haven't. So that's what I've got today. I'm gonna do a concoction of everything I've got here, mainly just that. Maybe tipping it with squid, but I'm gonna concentrate on some crab as well. They can be frozen anyway, but I need to use up all this. So I've got 150 worms to use up, and I ain't going until it's used up. So there are my rods up there. One's got a pulley panel on squid and rat, lugworm, and the other one has got a peeler crab and lug. Oh, there's a nice little tap there. Hopefully, that'll go into something a bit better. Uh, right. Not much to tell you right now. Um, apart from another doggy. Uh, so that is what we're looking at right now. Dogfish heaven. If it carries on like this, I won't be here for long. But, you know, when my rigs work, just making another one now. Why not? Get another squid and lug wrap on there. I've already pre done it. Show you that. Squid and lug wrap. Just putting my rigs together now, and then we're going to get it out there, and hopefully, no more doggies. If it is, I'm going to change my baits a little bit. I might even go for a two hook flapper to show you a good old whiting. If I don't catch a whiting tonight, I'll be surprised. Um, so, if I don't catch one, I ain't going to be upset, upset. But if I do catch one, I will show you. 
Yeah. Get his rig done. Get it back out there, and uh, hopefully I'll see you in a sec with a fish. I'm sure I will. It's uh, pretty lively tonight. All right, guys, I know it was night time a second ago, and now it's pretty much daytime, well, lunch time so to speak, um, I had to cut that session short. Um, so obviously I haven't got much much footage of it. Um, got two doggies and a white in. Didn't show you everything, because um, there was a lot going on, so I had to, I had to cut the uh, session short. So now, I'm at Shingle Street, with my brother Harry, over there. I'm at Shingle Street, which is just down the road. Albra, it's probably about 10 miles up there, somewhere up there. Never fished here either. Shingle Street, again, similar to Albra, similar to Chesil. Nowhere near as deep. There's a nice ledge there, but there's nowhere near as deep. Don't know if you can tell the shingle ledge. See, we're going down there. We are currently, we're about 10 minutes, 10, 20 minutes of high tide. There's a lot of fishermen here. This obviously fishes really, really well. Got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine ten proper proper people over there eleven twelve yeah there's a lot which tells me obviously i've done my research but it tells me that shingle beach fish is all right so again we're here for cod yes the tings are out and i don't really want a whiting who wants a whiting i've done my whiting fishing but you know you can't really escape them um but yeah, a cod would be nice. Don't really know what too much what you catch out here. I know you get quite a few big whiting, like one and a half, two pounders. Um, some ray. Cod do come up here. There hasn't been any reports as of yet of cod here. However, every day is different. We shall see. So what I've got out at the moment is a pulley, pulley panel rig on this one. I've got some squid and some common lug. And on this one, it's got two a clapper. With a five ounce weight, um, with one. I've also got um, a six ounce weight on that one, because I'm a bit unsure how strong the current is out there. Um, they're both sitting on bottom pretty well, so it's not too bad. Not too bad. Our baits, let me just quickly show you. Got some mackerel there, some frozen mackerel slowly defrosting. I've got some squid and some common lug there. In there, I do have crabs, peeler crabs. Whether I'm going to use them or not is another question. I might give it a few more hours. We have about half an hour of the tide, of the surge still to come in, and then we're going to fish about four or five hours of the ebb. Um, so yeah, that's the plan today, and hopefully I'm going to get to show you some fish. Because I've got Harry here, I've got another rod, which means I'll be able to show you some fish. If we blank, I, un I, I very much doubt it, because there are fish everywhere at the moment. Um, yeah, it's unlikely. So you should see some fish at this point here. I can't tell you what it's going to be at the moment. I'm hoping we can try and get some decent, decent quality fish for you here in Suffolk. At Stringle Street. At Shingle Street. Right. See you in a minute, guys. Good. First fish of the session caught by my brother Harry. Schooly. Very small. Got him, mate. Get it off, get it back. We're currently at high tide. Um, that current is strong. I had fives and sixes out. Now I've got eights out and it's just dragging it right across. So. I'm not actually fishing at the moment, that's unfishable, can't do that. It's, it's like a massive clump of weed, it's taken hold of my line, and dragged it right down. Obviously I'm new to fishing this spot, so this obviously happens at high tide. Didn't know that. So I'll wait a little bit longer. I will uh, currently rebait. Been making some wraps up, right down here. Got like a squid and mackerel wrap there. 
Got uh, some peeler crabs as well that I'm going to play with too. So you can see the surf out there. It looks quite calm. I'll never judge a book, guys. That current is strong. Anyway, wait till high tide's over. I'm done with. Uh, get our rods back out there. Harry has had a schoolie already. Uh, don't know how, but the, the weights were holding bottom until now. Now they're just dragging right across. So, um, yeah. Hopefully we'll see a fish in a minute. I've got bait here I want to use and I can't get it out because it's just no point. No point right now. I'll wait until, um, well, Harry's going to carry on fishing anyway. And when I can see his weight is actually holding bottom, I'll get some more out there and uh, hopefully show you some fish. We are going to be fishing around which an hour it gets dark, which is going to be a half or five, so it should pick up then, and um, we're probably going to looking to go around about six. So, which will be just before low tide. So yeah, that, that's that's what's happening at the moment. Lovely day. Winds are about six, seven mile an hour winds. The gusts pretty much non-existent but again I've got the bivy anyway nice little bit of shower so yeah that's about it right hopefully I'll see you in a minute here guys another schoolie bass very small look there's my hand very small but again it's another fish let's get it back Alright guys, so obviously I'm, I'm, I go for big baits, big hooks, hoping for big fish. And my brother over there only uses 5 ounce weights, casts about 50 yards and then it drags right down there into the surf. And um, yeah, he's the only one catching one at the moment, including that tiny little bass. Can you focus? Can you focus? Focus in on my trousers. There we go. Yeah. Little bass. So basically his line is going out there and then it goes all the way down to around about the tip of the tail. And then all these fish are just feeding right close in. I refuse to fish like that. I'm going to cast out as far as I can. We can put bait elastic around the bottom of the weight so it stops pulling now and now they're sitting really, really well. So hopefully we'll see a decent fish, not just that. He's a little bit limp now, I need to get him back in. He's been on there for a while. Right, yeah, that's what's happening. Hopefully we'll see you in a bit with a better fish. Right guys, I'm not, <coughs> not having a go, you know, but my brother seems to be taking the absolute tip out of me, mate. Just had another little bite. He hasn't used any fish baits today. He's just used the lug. And he's just got another one. Oh my God, it's got to be the smallest fish I've ever seen. But again, it's a fish and that makes it five nil to him. I mean, what, what is that? Another, another bass. I know what it is, but I'm just saying, what, what is that? Well done, mate, get it back. Get it back. Oh my god. Crazy people. Is that gonna zoom in? Absolutely crazy. Alright, that's off to you. You're on your own. Sun is setting. The tide's been on the ebb now for about three or four hours. Witching hour is upon us. I ain't going yet. I need to catch a fish, even if I have to get them crappy little schoolies. I will. Um, but they can do one over there because if they put the fish off. It's not a good session, let's be honest. Um, I expected more from this mark. Uh, but no, nothing. Anything on. Uh, I'm just going to put out worm, worm, worm at the moment. My fish baits ain't working, my crab's not working, my squid's not working, the mackerel's not working. 
Nothing's working apart from worm and that's for Harry. So I've got worm out at the moment on a pulley panel and a two hook flapper. So I've got to catch something today. I said I wasn't going to blank at the start of it. I hope I haven't jinxed it. It's nearly time to put my lights on. It's going to get dark. Right, what's Harry doing that I'm not doing that's making him catch fish when he's pretty much four meters away from me? Casting, very casts. It's very short. I was only about four yards, not even that. Hmm. Interesting. Right, update. Nothing. Switching hour is, oh hello. Yay, I'm getting a bite. I really should be filming this. I should be looking and maybe doing something about it. But yeah, I just put that out. Two look flapper on the lug worm. And I reckon about 99% of the time it's gonna be a bat, no in my luck, but now the light is going, could be a white in. Um, not gonna lie, that was the, my third bite in the last 20 minutes, so the fish are biting. I am not gonna leave here with a blank, I can tell you that now. I'll, I'll stay here all night, I don't care. Um, I got bait. He won't be happy about that because I drove him here. Um, but yeah, even if it's a small fish. Um, okay, pulley panel. Um, it was like five, six lugworm, but I've actually put that into a squid and lugworm wrap this time. And now I've just got a two hook flapper with lug because I'm desperate to get a fish on that one. And that has just gone, but it hasn't. That was about, what, 30, 40 seconds ago. It hasn't gone again. Um, yeah, so that, that's the update. Everyone's gone home. Look at that sunset. Beautiful. Beautiful. But there are fishermen. If I get to zoom, watch my fingers. I don't know if you can see. I'm not sure if you can see that, but there are about... Looking with my eyes, I'm going to say about six or seven fishermen out there. For some reason they're over there. Maybe we're on the wrong side. Maybe I'll go fish over there next time. Yeah, look at that. Stunning. Hardly windy. It's probably around about six, seven degrees. It's a bit chilly, but it's all right. For November, beautiful. Yeah, so this is Shingle Street. I'll come back here. But, um, might do a little bit more research soon. But I'm gonna be fishing until I get a fish, so I'm not going anywhere. Look at that. Beautiful! Right, finally I've got some bites. Right out. Day, Harry. Yeah, I've got a white. <laughs> a white It's all right. It's fine. Well, I haven't blank. There you go. I've got a white. <laughs> Put some more worm on it and get it out. Brilliant. Okay, I've got a few bites on both rods. So lift this one up, then we'll go for the other one. We'll come back. Come on, Harry. Is. Right, I need a one biting there. 
Right, just had a double shot of white in. Woohoo, amazing, brilliant. So that makes three for me. My brother, however, who is down there, he got a white in too. That's seven four. I can't have my brother beat me. I really can't. Right, that is all the worm I've got. That's a little peeler. Worm seems to be doing the trick. However, he is throwing his white in back. Whiting love whiting. Yeah, so I'm gonna cut him up. Once that worm runs out, I'm gonna cut that up. I will beat him. I'm not gonna go home, right, until he, wherever he is, there he is, until I beat him. Simple. However, I still am not gonna be giving in with my pulley panel, which is that one. Had a really good bite on that. I'm still very, very positive I'm gonna get something on it as well. Currently got some squid and some mackerel on that. Because I still want a big fish. So I'm just gonna run with one rod with two of clapper. He's got two rods with two of clappers. He don't know what I'm planning. I'm gonna beat him. I'm gonna carry on fishing until I beat him. I'm gonna use them whiting right there. Oh, put the whiting back. No, there's plenty of them in the sea. They'll do for bait. Happy days. Right, let's get cracking. All right, 7-4, game on. Remember, 6-0 down. I ain't gonna give up. Let's get some more fish. I don't care if it's white. I'm not gonna beat him, my brother. Oh, no. It's only we have a crowd. He says he's in. Is he in? Is he in? Maybe in 74, 74, has it changed? Has it changed? Has it changed? Yes. Lighting. Well done, Harry. Dipstick. It's a long walk back. Into the easy option. But because I'm filming and I've got the bivy and stuff. It's fine. It's fine. 84. Let's do this. Uh, right, so as soon as I said that, um, Harry comes over to me and goes, Oh, are we done? I'm like, Not really. No, I, I, I'm, I'm, I want to get, you know, I want to catch some more fish. You know, I ain't going to be beaten. I haven't told him that. Oh, I'm feeling really, really tired now. All right, fine. All right, so we're packing up. <laughs> he wins 8 4. Well, I say 8 4, he just caught another one, Jeremy's side. Uh, so 9-4. So, as it stands, yep, yeah, Shingle, Shingle Street. Shingle Street? Yeah, that's where I am. Shingle Street. Um, lovely place. Lovely place. Daytime, just schooly bass. All on two flappers, all on lugworm. Fish baits were not touched at all. Um, and then the night time came. The bass went off for dinner or something. Somewhere else. And then the whiting came in non-stop. Fish baits, lugworm, crab, mackerel, they were going for everything. Squid, the whole lot. Um, we could be here all night. And I think we'll probably catch about 100 to 200. You know what it's like this time of year, especially in Essex, it's crazy. Mental crazy. And they're all around the average, around about the 25 to 30 centimetre mark. So um, I did put them whiting back because it wasn't long since I caught them and they were still alive and kicking so they went back and they were released safely to fight another day to go on somebody else's fisherman's rod and make their day amazing as they do for all the other fishermen so that's about it really guys thank you all for watching um, I really really appreciate it it was a bit of a double one um, in two different locations but the first one was really really short um, thank you all for joining there is more to come as I keep on saying all the time I've, I've branched out of Essex and started to try something new. Um, I'll be going everywhere, absolutely everywhere. If there's anywhere that you guys want me to uh, check out that's quite close, actually, you know what, it doesn't have to be close, it can be as far away as, as you like, I don't care. I'll go there, work permitted, obviously. Um, and I'll try it out. I want to try and get as many species as I can, um, starting next year. I'm on a big mission next year. so. Yes, that's it. Thank you for watching. Um, if you haven't already and you liked it, 
hit that like button, subscribe. It don't cost anything. The amount of people that watch my videos and don't subscribe, um, I don't know. Am I doing something wrong? Let me know in the comments. If you don't want to subscribe, let me know anyway. What well, I can make it better. Uh, if you if you have that subscription, that would be absolutely great. I really appreciate your time. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. All right, take care, guys. Please take care, and I'll see you all very soon.